What's up, loungers? This is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com here with another Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial for you guys. This time we are going over the HDR black and white grunge vivid landscape preset uh, and mixology. And we're going to show you guys how it works, which situations we'd use it, and like usual, give you guys some before and after examples, as well as, of course, show you guys how to do this with your preset system. So let's get started. We're going to go for a little bit extra screen real estate. So let's close down the right side panel as well as the base panel. We have an image here selected. And this image again is going to work really well as kind of the same way that the HDR grunge uh, look did in the last tutorial. It's going to work well with that editorial look, the super high contrast, very grungy kind of look, the manly man type look. You know, this is that preset. So you want to use it, you know, in the same kind of way you would as the HDR grunge. So let's apply it and see what we get. So I'm going to click HDR black and white grunge. And what we're going to do is just dial in a couple base adjustments. I'm going to pull down the exposure just a little bit to about right there. I look a little bit more on the dark side. And then uh, we're going to go down to the, let's see, vignetting. Let's add some medium vignetting just to darken up the edges. And in two clicks, we went from, or three clicks, we went from this to this. Super high contrast, grungy version of this image. Now, let's go and apply this to some other images and see what we get kind of show you guys, it's really going to work in the exact same way that the previous, uh, the grunge preset did. And uh, this is one of the examples I actually used on the, uh, if you look in the Facebook uh, photo album for the HDR grunge preset, I actually used this image in there. And I think it works kind of well on occasion with these types of images, not for delivery to wedding clients, but for delivery or for use in kind of more an editorial or kind of an artistic fashion. So let's go and apply the HDR grunge black and white grunge rather. And then what we're going to do is we're going to brighten it up by around probably about a full stop. And we get this like super nice high contrast look uh, with this HDR grunge that it, we don't get with like that soft portrait look. And let's actually do a comparison. So I'm going to create a duplicate of this. Uh, we're going to go to my mixology and we're going to compare this to that soft portrait black and white. And then we're going to raise the brightness on that one up too so that we have kind of an equal exposure. So check these two out. I'm going to select both of them, hit C to compare, and then we'll close down the left and right panels. And you can see how this kind of has that nice, like like if this were going into a newspaper or you know some sort of editorial, I would want this look on the right more so than the one on the left. If it was going into a wedding album, well of course I want the one on the left. If I want to deliver it to a wedding client, then of course. But you can see how you get this really nice kind of vivid look out of that HDR grunge uh, mixology. And so it's not necessarily just for guys or all, you know, only the manly man type shots. You can use it for other shots too, but do use it kind of sparingly. All right, let's go back and let's apply this effect to another image. So let's flip through here and see what we've got. I'm going to hit Control D to deselect everything just so I can scan through a little bit quicker. And let's see. You know what? Let's apply it to actually the same photos that we did with that HDR grunge because I know those are going to work fabulously well. So let's find them. We had a couple smoking guys. There we go. So here was our HDR grunge version of this image. Let's do the black and white grunge, or black and white HDR grunge version. So we're going to jump in the develop module by hitting D. Let's go and close up this panel and open up our My Mixology. And we're going to select the HDR black and white grunge. And we pretty much get to exactly where we want to get to just with that one single click. I'm going to go down to my base adjustments and add a little bit stronger vignette just to kind of close off the borders. I want to kind of keep the edges really dark. Let's see if the heavy vignette works even better. Yeah, get a really nice dark mood shot. And that looks really cool. So we have, again, we have the standard HDR grunge, which is kind of that uh, desaturated look. And then we have the HDR black and white grunge. Let's do it one more time. Let's do it with this image. Actually, let's do it with all the images that we did before. And let's check this out. You know, we'll do, uh, for our very last image, we'll actually apply, or we'll show you guys the mixology on that one. All right, HDR black and white grunge. Once again, I'm going to darken it up. I want to create the mood shot, a mood shot. All right, let's go down to negative one, I think, on this one. And then I'm going to go down to my, once again, my uh, vignetting. And we'll probably do just a medium vignette on this. Well, let's see. Actually, the, the heavy does work pretty well as well on this. So we'll leave it right there. So once again, we have standard version with the uh, kind of desaturated look. And then we have the black and white look. Now, of course, we can use brushes to go in and, and kind of further increase detail and make this even more manly, but uh, we're going to skip that for now. So let's go to this image, and we're going to show you guys how to create this preset using this image right here. 
All right, guys, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is start with our standard import preset. Next, we're going to drop down to our base adjustments. We're going to go to our base tones, and we want to do a heavy HDR boost. We're going to drop down into detail and do a heavy boost on detail as well, because we really want to punch up that mid-tone contrast. We're going to go to contrast. We're going to do a heavy boost as well. We're doing lots of heavies on this. And then uh, we're also going to go to blacks, and we're going to do a heavy brighten. Now, this is actually going to darken the blacks because the HDR setting boosted the blacks a little bit too much. And so we're going to use this heavy brighten to pull it down just a smidge. All right, we don't need saturation because we're going to make this a black and white. We're going to drop to noise reduction. And I'm going to build in a little bit of night re uh, light noise reduction because I think it would work well in general for more, most images. This is up to you guys if you want to build it in or do it on an image per image basis. But I'd put it into this preset. So uh, We're going to also include a light vignette. And then we're going to go and close our base adjustments and go down to our antique curves. Now the antique curves, we're going to go and select the black and white neutral punch. It's going to automatically black and white our image, add an additional tone curve, which is going to boost additional contrast. Now we are all done. Let's compare this to our HDR black and white grunge. And if we did it right, we shouldn't see any change. And we don't. We got it exactly right. OK, so once again, saving a new preset. We don't need to because this is already included in the 1.1 update. But if you did want to save it out, you could go up here. We'd hit Check All, Unselect White Balance, Unselect Lens Profile, Transform, Chromatic Aberration. Select My Mixology folder, give it a name, make sure your auto settings are all off, and make sure you use an image that has the correct exposure as your baseline image so that your exposure is universal. All right, guys. We are done. At this point, you'd hit Create, but we already have it, so we're going to hit Cancel. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial on the HDR black and white grunge mixology. And we'll see you guys with the next video.